and who is as lucky at love as he is at the tables. Have you seen this guy? Soda, don't worry, it's soda. I promise. He's all right, he's all right. There's a woman who wants to see you. Oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, I thought Ted, like, unhired you for the night. I told him that was a mistake. <laughs> I'm not here to dance for the groom. I came to see you. M me? <laughs> You're so cute and funny. I was... I'm kind of hoping maybe you'd like to... Is that the police chief? Uh, yeah, in the flesh. I gotta go. What happened to me being cute and funny? So is that boy of yours behaving himself? Ah, better and better. Yeah, honestly, more and more. You know, progress every day. He's a, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. Yeah, I know. Okay, fine. I, you don't have to say, I know you think that I cut him too much slack, all right? But he's my son. I see, come on. I just want to help him as much as I can. You know what would help a lot, Pat? If you kept his little ass out of trouble. I'm working on it. Mm. Me, on the other hand. What about you, on the other hand? I could definitely use a little more trouble. <laughs> the female variety, you know, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm so busy with Damon. I, uh, well, I've been ignoring some very important things. Like the female variety? One female in particular. Very important female. So I didn't treat her as well as I should have. Do something about it. Yeah. You know what? That's exactly what I think I'm gonna do. Right now? Are you leaving now? <laughs> People to see you, baby. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Here's a little more advice. Don't let me catch you driving drunk. Call a cab. On it, you. I want to thank you for letting us use the place. This is great. Oh, you got it, you got it. I could help. You know, you're a lucky man. You're right. Tad nailed it. You just did it right with the marriage, the family. What happened here? I lost all my money. I wasn't even looking. Mm -hmm. Listen, you're gonna have Greenlee on your arm tomorrow. It's a start, I think, with you. Oh, <clears throat> I got you. Wow. Is <laughs> also all this confetti for me? I wouldn't expect such a warm welcome. What the hell are you doing here, dude? You weren't on the guest list. Oh, is there a guest list? I'm sorry, I just came by to try my luck on the tables, you know? I mean, how how should I know there would be a private party? It is a private party, and you're not invited. Well, that's a pretty lame choice, don't you think? I mean, closing a place down like this for a, 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 what, a bachelor party? Is that what this is? I mean, what kind of businessman are you? The kind that takes care of his friends. He doesn't know anything about frauds, oh, right? Now might be a good time for you to go away. Mm, no, you know, I think I'd rather have a drink first. Um, I'll have a vodka tonic. Rocks, please. You got a pair of rocks showing up okay, here. Okay, why don't you get out or I'm going to throw you out? Oh, you got to know that threats are not good for business, right? Oh. Get out, David, okay, now. What is this, assault? You're kidding me, right? What, are you going to tell him to chill or do I have to press charges? All right, let's see. Who is our first victim? Oh, it is none other than uh, Lata. Oh, <laughs> All righty, come on. Don't be oh, scared. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, you guys, um, as much as I would love to be in that hot seat and answer Way, all of yes, your okay. questions, I do. I've got to go. My apologies. Oh, wow. Yeah, wait a minute. supposed to be with Damon. I didn't know the police chief was going to be at the party. Okay, listen, you're not doing anything illegal. You busted me too many times. I'm not going to risk it. Okay, listen, you don't understand. My daughter thinks she's in love with this guy, and she's going to throw her entire life away for him. I know, because I've done it myself. He's going to sleep with her, and then he's going to rip her heart out if I don't do something about it. Then find someone else. Oh, I 
in it. <laughs> This is a private party. You've been asked to leave. I suggest you do so. This is cool. I got this. No, I, this is the night before your wedding, Jake. You don't want to mess it up fooling around with this idiot. I, it's not uh, worth it. He's got something to say. Obviously, why would he show up? He knows everybody hates him here. So I just, I got to shall we? Clark. What, what, what are you doing? All right, all right, Ryan. I'm used to this with him. He's obsessed with me and my wife and my life and my kids. So I'll have a drink with him. Okay, two seconds. I'll just tell him what's what and uh, I'll tell him to leave. I think it's going to take more than a drink to make that happen. Yeah, I mean, if you want, if you need us to throw him out of you, just you like so. Love you guys. <sighs> okay, so what do you want to talk about? Dave. You're such a sucky friend. <laughs> well, sophomoric as ever. But since you're buying, I'll stick around. Is it that you're lonely? Is that what it is? You're lonely. You, you, you lost your license. You lost your wife. I mean, you will lose your wife eventually. You keep telling yourself that. Well, no, I, it's pretty... I mean, you didn't see her at the rehearsal. I just thought maybe... Maybe there's trouble at home. I don't... Know. Nope. No trouble whatsoever. Well, there will be. Tomorrow, when she walks down that aisle with Ryan. I mean, you didn't really see her face. She just lit up when she was on his arm. All righty. Now let's see. Hey. Big dip. Drum roll. Who is Mean to upset you. I just, uh, I just don't feel like playing games. And that's what this is, isn't it? One big game. You refuse to invite my husband and throw me together with Ryan, as if walking down the aisle together will make me see the light, the light that you want me to see. Look, I just want you to be happy. Just so we're clear, my marriage to David is exactly what I want. We understand each other and we trust each other, and I resent the hell out of being put on a hot seat because you think you know what's best for me. Okay, look, I'm just worried about you, okay? Is that so terrible? I know how David can be. He can he can make you feel like he's the only person in the world that cares about you, that can protect you, that can give you exactly what you need. And so, you know, you start excusing his behavior no matter how bad or how crazy it can be. Because you tell yourself, you know, he's doing it to help you out. Oh, oh. that must be the stripper. Yeah. everybody's doing. Everybody is fine. Well, if you're not here to strip, you need to leave. Yeah. <laughs> I, you allowed. used to inspire a little more enthusiasm than when I walked in. Tad, this is a bachelorette party and no men are allowed. You've got chicken. Okay, oh, take the no chicken to go, Tad. Come on. Come on, let's go. Oh, is that your cab? I'm going to put you in the cab. Bye. Bye. You're throwing me out? You didn't come here to see how everybody's doing. You came here to see Liza. Well, well, well. Damon, how's the party going, huh? You winning? I thought you were going to be at the bachelorette party thing. <sighs> bachelorette parties. So boring. Really, they're playing these stupid games and they have ribbon hats. No, I thought this would be a lot more fun. Are you drunk? <laughs> no, honey, I'm just happy. And I'm gonna go play, so... Oh, whoa, 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 careful! <laughs> oh, look at that. You just saved me.